Fate brings together one evening a feng shui master, a courier named Xu Tung, and a homicidal maniac who was given the address of his next victim, a prostitute, by chance. The latter kills the girl and escapes, leaving the door open. Impressed by the sight of a bleeding woman, Xu Tung himself begins to feel the urge to kill, and the feng shui master, having checked his horoscope, realizes that the guy is about to cross the line. Convinced that fate can be changed, the fortune teller does everything to prevent Xu Tung from succumbing to temptation, but the gods seem to throw them one test after another. In the second half of the 90s, when Hong Kong's film industry was being decimated by the biggest crisis in its history, film company named Milky Way, founded by directors and producers Johnny Toe and Y Kai Fai, became one of the lifelines that allowed Hong Kong cinema to somehow swim out. Having achieved box office success with overtly commercial movies, the owners of the company increasingly began to allow themselves creative experimentation with genres and styles, and eventually achieved such credit that the audience began to accept almost any of their movies, no matter how strange, atypical, and unconventional they did not turn out. Mad Fate is the clearest example of such an experiment, either black comedy or psychological thriller about fate, free will and destiny. All these themes have been present in the projects of Milky Way in one form or another for a long time, just remember the 2003 thriller Running on Karma, in which Andy Lau with superimposed muscles played a former monk, and now a stripper on the trail of a serial killer. Mad Fate is a direct successor to that movie, a panopticon of quirky characters whose paths cross by the will of a higher power. Each of the key characters has their own inner demon and some path from which they are trying to turn away in one way or another. Xu Tung has had an interest in death since childhood, which eventually developed into an unquenchable urge to kill. When he smells blood, he loses control of himself, but the memory of the prison he once visited helps him hold on. A nameless feng shui master played by Gordon Lamb slowly slips into the abyss of madness that is destined for him, because both of his parents have gone mad. Also involved in the plot are a young prostitute who once won the lottery but is now back at rock bottom, and a not-so-young policeman chasing a maniac. As the plot moves along, the feng shui master gradually loses touch with reality. What is happening takes on more and more surreal features, and the overall tone of the movie becomes nervous and hysterical. Fans of traditional genre cinema may not enjoy Mad Fate because of this, but this is a movie that is not made to entertain. Its authors ponder, reflect, search for answers to existential questions, playing out a non-standard story with atypical characters. It is a stylish and atmospheric creative experiment in both form and content, which you don't have to like at all, but which definitely deserves respect.